So in the past, I've proven it's possible to go from a brand new account all the way to earning infinite amounts of gold with the easiest to build AFK farm. And just to show you how well that worked, I went AFK overnight and earned myself a whopping 54,000 gold. So yeah, it's safe to say that this method has worked extremely well. But now that I have all this money, guys, look, I still have barely any blocks. <laughs> So some people might still call me a noob. So I'm going to do something about it. So first things first, I'm going to correct a big mistake I made last video. And that is not joining Chill Thrills group. So that alone should allow me to actually earn more money. So now that we have the member tag, we're ready to make some big bucks. Now, even though 54,000 gold seems like a whole lot of money, we're going to have to be very careful about how we spend it. Because the goal of this video is to turn this into 1 million gold. So on that note, our very first investment is going to be the scaling tool this is gonna help us build so much faster now i'm actually curious to see what is the most efficient block to buy because 250 gold gives me 50 wood blocks but for 405 gold i actually get 120 so after doing a little bit of rough math i think it's actually safe to say that it's going to be more efficient to buy these chests especially since we're also going to get all this other crap so starting off i'm actually going to buy 10 of these let's go please just give me a lot of metal 300 and okay okay it's, it's all right. <laughs> I was hoping for more metal, but this will totally do. So I've secretly gone ahead and taken exact measurements of a copy of the build book map that the owner himself gave me. And with this knowledge, I have found the number one fastest possible way to make money and build a boat. So that is exactly what we're going to be building today. So first things first, we're going to need a pole that is exactly 375 blocks long. So yeah, I've placed blocks, so now I have exactly 375 metal. Then all I'm going to do is place a block and skill that as high as it can possibly go. So yeah, make sure it's exactly the full length. And actually right now it'd be quite nice to also have the trowel tool. So you know what? I've got some spare cash. I might as well use it because it's going to speed things up a lot. But you can totally do this without course. See, so yeah, I'm going to move this up just a little bit. All right, then next up, what we're going to do is we're going to go in right here and we're going to place a couple blocks upwards, just like so. And then this is where we're going to make our AFK gold pot. And yeah, you want that to be about 15 blocks long. Then all we have to do is go in with a portal and place one bang, bang on each end, just like that. So now all I'm going to have to do is just make sure that this entire thing is encased because the last thing we want is for this thing to break. And by doing this, we can make sure that everything has the smallest chance possible of breaking. Now, if you had some more money than I did, I would build this out of glass because it will look a lot nicer, but I don't really have anything like that. So uh, yeah, I'm going to have to just use the blocks that I have. Okay. I'm at least going to buy a little bit more of these because I at least want to use the same blocks for the same kind of hearts, which technically doesn't even matter. So do what you will. So yeah, let's finish this up by covering up the whole thing. And with that, our entire pot has been finished. So with that done, we have finished our entire first module and are only one step away from AFK grinding a stupid amount of gold. Now, for the next step, we're going to need exactly 976 blocks. So, currently, I have 791 bricks. So, I might as well just get a couple extras. I got a little bit more cash than I actually thought I did. So, with that, we now have the perfect amount. Now, to make this as easy as possible, I'm just going to be placing blocks right here, scaling them out until I have exactly 976 left. So, boom. 976 left. That is exactly what I want to see. All right, then. Next up, we want to find the exact center of our plot. So we're going to be scaling these parts out as far as they go. And with that, we have found the exact middle. And that's where we're going to place our block. So exactly right there. And yeah, of course, once again, uh, move this up a little bit, a little bit more. We're going to scale this all the way up as far as it goes. So I've been thinking of the easiest way to get up there, but I actually think that I might have found it. And it's a little bit silly. So uh, let's hope this actually works. <laughs> all right. Any minute now, we should be all the way up there. This is going to take a minute. <laughs> Come on, we're almost there. All right, we're going to anchor this off. There we go. And then we're going to scale this all the way up as far as it goes. So yeah, all I'm going to do now is place a block right next to it and a chair right there. Perfectly exactly like that. Actually, I want to do that in anchor mode. So uh, yeah, let me just anchor those off. Actually, guys, I have to make a small correction. That needs to be four blocks and the chair needs to be halfway at the end right there. And actually, I'm going to add the same thing right over here. So ooh, be careful. The only difference is that I'll add it to the other side. Boom, just like that. Actually, I'm going 
gonna do something crazy and i'm actually gonna have to move this pole right here a couple blocks over something like so all right then and with that it's about time that we get ready for the most exciting part and that is for the entire creation of the number one best afk gold machine to come together so what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a block right there another four blocks so boom just like that so four blocks right there then we're gonna go right here place ourselves another chair then guys we're gonna go in and we're gonna buy ourselves the classic car kit so we're gonna buy this right here which gives us a wheel servo hinge and a couple other nice things and then we're gonna just buy a whole bunch of the green chest uh, they're dirt cheap so it really doesn't matter all that we're looking for is that right there a thrust perfect 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 so all that we have left to do now is to go ahead right here place right there a servo and then right there on top of that exactly right there a truss and uh, yeah that right there is the entire creation completed then i'm gonna save this and head over to the pink team and uh, of course i'll load it back in <laughs> all right then now for the moment of truth we're gonna sit down right here and we're gonna place ourselves a uh, firework rocket so i'm gonna have to rotate that first sit down rotate that boom just like so now if you don't already own a uh, firework rocket what you want to do is you want to put in the code chill thrill 709 was here when you uh, when you use it uh, it will give you the firework rocket so with all of that done we want to jump and as you guys can see we're like kind of strangely hovering there select all and an anchor and with that we have done <laughs> yeah this is gonna be hard to explain we've created an infinite flight glitch kind of similar to the one that we actually used to get the first items for this challenge but the big difference is is that this one is way more consistent so uh, now that we have this done what we're gonna do is we're gonna start climbing up and we're also gonna start floating over here all the way to the stages so yeah, we pretty much want to get ourselves into the first stage a little something like this and then when we've done that we're gonna go in and we're gonna reload our build of course if you haven't already you gotta save the whole thing uh, you should be saving constantly to be honest anyway then we're gonna turn around and we're gonna fly all the way back if you don't know how to operate this thing it's pretty simple it's like climbing a ladder right when you climb up and down you climb up and down when you jump you jump away from the ladder but because of the little contraption we've made you can't jump away from the ladder and because of that you pretty much move forward so when we hold space bar we actually move forward so yeah we're gonna go right here and we're gonna keep climbing until we've reached all the way up this might once again take him all right now that we're all the way here as you can see we've reached that part right there and what we want to do is we want to jump and sit down in that chair right there and what might, might actually help a lot is if you uh, select some of this stuff right here and make it collision off and there it is baby we have just done a successful duplication i'm gonna take all of this stuff right here turn the collision back on actually select all and turn anchor mode back on and i'm gonna save this whole thing so yeah now we can actually go ahead and delete all of this extra stuff just like so so yeah as you can see now we actually have two of these like little portal setups so now we're gonna go ahead and save the whole thing and do that another time actually another two times because we want a total of eight of these little setups all right then there it is bang there you go all right put everything back in place and let's clean up a little bit all right then let's save and we're gonna have to reload oh, but with that we have officially finished every single one of our teleporting points now i'm just gonna go ahead and delete this thing right here and i'm actually gonna rebuild it on the other side so once again four blocks chair servo trust then save this whole thing one more time sit down and now boys this is when we're finally gonna be able to really put things back together so we're gonna sit down right here we're gonna place another one of those and we're gonna select everything except the red pole and we're gonna unanchor and we're gonna be climbing all the way up and yeah guys we're gonna want to sit down in the chair up there <laughs> all right then here we go come on just gotta sit down to that collision off Boop. and there it is baby as you guys can see, we have just connected the two poles, and we now have a super pole that goes uh, very, very, very high. So we're going to go in, select all, collision on, anchor on, and we're going to clean up this part right here. And with that, we now have the majority of the work done. Before you know it, we are going to be able to teleport through every single stage and go all the way to the end. All right, save everything. The only thing left to do is a little bit of painting. Now, currently, I already have the paint tool. I actually bought it earlier because... I kept getting confused because while I was trying to build, everything was in the wrong slot because the paint tool was missing. So I bought it a bit early, but yeah, you're gonna need the paint tool because we're gonna need to paint the portals in different colors to actually be able to go from step one all the way down to step eight. Yeah, the way that I'm gonna do this is just simply going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, start that color right there. All right, so I'm gonna paint the first portal with that color of green, and I'm gonna paint the second portal with the next color. Then I wanna make sure that for the next first portal, I use the same color. 
door. So that way it teleports me from this one to the next one. Because if you didn't know, portals are actually linked by color. So there we go. Paint that one that color. And then the next one, the next color. And yeah, we're just going to repeat that all the way to the top. And then we have the final one. And boom, there it is. Now to make sure that everything went exactly to plan. We're gonna quickly save everything. There we go. And we're gonna select this block right here. Collision off. And if everything goes right, we should make our way all the way down to the bottom. And we did, perfect. So yeah, we did everything right. Clear are all, and that has been that. So yeah, I'm gonna name this right here, AFK Farm Part One. Oh wait, that, okay, I tried, tried to save nothing, but I can't do that. All right, so now we're gonna head. So now we're gonna head back to the white team and we're gonna quickly make part two. All right, so as you might have expected now it's time to get started on part two so i'm gonna buy another save slot just like so 200 gold down the drain and for this what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right here we're gonna go boom one two now let's go three then we're gonna need 14 pistons currently i have 12 so i'm gonna just buy two more there we go two more pistons then we're gonna place these all in a line just like this there it is and we're gonna place a block right here and then we're gonna just place that all the way into the wall like those two right there place one more block and now we can grab whatever block we want so i'm just gonna grab Metal. I have a lot of metal. Actually, I have a lot of this. Uh, metal will look the nicest. Here, I'll, I'll grab a lot of metal. And what we're going to do right here is we're going to just set our settings to like 0 0.1. Make this block super thin. And then we're going to just stretch this all the way out. Now, what we want to do is we want to make sure that this thing is 150 studs in every single direction. So right now there, as you can see, when you click the little plus icon on the skill tool, it says 150. And I want that to be on both sides. So we're going to do the same thing right there. 150 by 150. Exactly like that. Then we're going to go right here in the middle all the way at the end and we're gonna place ourselves one more portal right there and we're gonna paint this the first color of the first portal that we use so in my case that's just the top left one and then now it's time to get building but don't worry it's not gonna be anything crazy we're just gonna go in set our rotation tool to 15 we're gonna place a couple blocks right there it doesn't actually need to build that tall and yeah we just want to make sure that every single thing here points towards the portal there you go there you have that part right there and we're gonna just build the same part on the other side and there we go so actually just to make sure that everything goes according to plan i'm actually gonna go back here and uh place a little bit of a very thin wall just like so and i think yeah we should be able to just turn collision off on the portal itself which should make things just run a little bit smoother then guys for the next part we're actually gonna need ourselves the most expensive item yet a red jet now it's technically possible to do this without a red jet but i would recommend actually using it because it just makes things a whole lot easier there we go baby and you actually get three so it's just a good deal i didn't even realize you actually get blocks as well what i could have totally used those <laughs> all right then so now we're gonna just build ourselves a tiny little plane. Honestly, it doesn't really have to be anything too specific or too nice. All I would really recommend to do is just make sure that it's kind of nice and big, something like so. And yeah, I would actually recommend placing two jets on this thing because uh, there's a chance the first one will run out. Then place your plane. Actually, that linked to the wrong thing. So we're going to place a lever right there and then the plane part so that way it will properly link up. And right now it would actually be quite handy to have binding tools. So you know what? I'm just going to buy it. It's only 2,000 coins. So now we actually have every Every single tool in the game. Holy crap. <laughs> All right, so we want to manually link these. So I'm going to set one of these activations to F and I'm going to set the other activation to G. So that way we can kind of like activate one and then if it runs out, we activate the other one. And I'm going to quickly move this platform and at the end right here, we're going to place ourselves a portal. Now this one is actually going to have to link up with the last portal that we placed. So in my case, that is this color right here. Boom. Save that all to AFK Farm Part 2. And I think with that, we have pretty much finished everything everything there is to do. So now for a couple quality of life change, we're going to go right here. We're going to place ourselves a lever on this thing. Uh, let's just put it right there. Then next up, we're going to go ahead and we're going to place ourselves a bit of a big block right here. So just a little bit long, a little bit thick, a little something like so. To that, we're going to attach one jet and we're going to just place a chair right here. Yeah, we want to unlink this jet from that lever because that would be a very big problem. Yep, save that right there. Then guys, we only have one thing left to do. So I reloaded our part one build. Uh, we're going to go in right here. We're going to place a block at the end, we're gonna make this like an extra four blocks taller. So yeah, in total, you want this part to be about 20 blocks tall. And we're gonna take this, get, move it all the way to the end, right there, other one. And then we're gonna place a chair right here facing downwards. So yeah, just like that. Now, somehow we're gonna have to sit down in the chair right there. So what I'm actually gonna do right here is place a block at a 45 degree angle. So it's pretty easy to walk up there, just like so. And turn off collision on the chair, save this. And with that, everything is finished. This right here is our entire AFK farm done. 
So let's set it up. We're gonna go right there, place a chair all the way at the end right there. And we're gonna sit down, go right here, place ourselves a select all and unanchor. Okay, there you go. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go. Wait, okay, we're having some issues. Okay, select all except that part. Turn off collision. Now, there we go. Sit down in the chair. And we have just done it, babe. We're gonna select all, turn on anchor mode, turn on collision. And we're gonna delete all this stuff right here. So yeah, we don't need any of that crap anymore. So now all of our portals are in place. The only thing left to do is for us to add the movement. Now, the speed that I actually wanna go with is pretty much just walking speed. So I'm just gonna place a chair, put a firework in, and place a block on top. And then when I unanchor this entire little thing right here, as you guys can see, I can just walk around with a block. Then next up, I'm gonna go right here, place a pilot seat, and then not touch anything for a couple seconds. And as you can see, it perfectly straightens out my camera. Then delete the thing right there, walk forward, and while walking forward, anchor the block. So now that I've done that, I have created a block that will always be moving. As you guys can see, as I stand on it, it will move me away. Then I'm gonna take this block right here with my skill tool and move it inside of that brick part right there, just like so. Then I'm gonna select all except the wood block, an anchor and anchor once more and then i can actually pretty much just leave it as is we have just made it so that every single portal unit is slowly moving forward but actually it's not moving forward just if we teleport into it we will be moving forward oh boy then we're gonna load our afk farm part two now you might think to yourself jesse we just deleted all of our work as you guys can see a lot of the stuff disappeared but we're abusing a glitch right here because all the blocks that are in stages actually cannot be deleted so yeah pretty much what that means is that all of our stuff is still there. All right, then next up, we're gonna select all of this stuff right here. And we're gonna turn off anchor mode, just like so. And then we're gonna just flick that lever and that should move everything perfectly in place. And then we're gonna take all of this stuff. We're gonna hit anchor mode so that way, uh, you know, everything is just stuck. Then we're gonna sit down in this chair, select that block, and then we're gonna activate the jet and then click anchor mode almost at the same time. So activate anchor off. And what that should do is pretty much the exact same glitch, but this time we're moving a whole lot faster. So then once again, we're going to take this block right here and we're going to scale it all the way up over to right here and put it in the floor. Select all. Actually, wait, no, not select all. Select all of this stuff except that one block. Turn off anchor mode and turn anchor mode back on. And what that should have done is now no matter what, we will always be moving in this one direction. <laughs> So yeah, theoretically with that, we should actually be done. If I reset character, no matter what happens for the rest of time, I will very slowly but surely be moving towards the end, going through the stages, as you guys can see right here, making an absolute crap ton of money. And uh, yeah, then we get all the way here back to the end. We end up all the way back at the start, as you guys can see. And that is because there is only one thing left. Of course, we want to get the gold block. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this one little unit right here and we're gonna start flying this all the way to the end uh oh uh i actually got hit with something and i lost my pilot seat so uh, i'm gonna have to do that again <laughs> Which is fine. You can just rebuild the exact same unit one more time. And it should actually be pretty simple. All right, get out of the unit. And let's see. Yeah, we're going to just have to build that part over again. <laughs> All right, then. Let's make sure to dodge it this time. Okay, a little stupid fish. <laughs> there we go. Dodged. Oh, we ran out of fuel. Boom. There we go. Back up. That's, of course, exactly why we brought a second jet. Now, we only have one mission left. And that is to get this portal as close to the end chest as we can possibly get it. So whoop, I'm going to deactivate that thruster. Set it to jet speed five reactivate it as i go down to make sure that it's right above the portal boom now i think i banged that right on the money so uh I think i'm just gonna try it out oh yeah baby we hit it perfectly so we get our gold and our golden block and we're gonna get into a cycle of infinitely going to the end oh this is amazing <laughs> And there we go, all the way down to the end, right on top of the chest. Get ourselves the golden block and everything. We literally get maximum money, the golden block. It couldn't be any better. Now, all that I have left to do is to go AFK all the way until I reach a million dollars. It's literally not possible to get a million dollars faster in build mode, other than like hacks and stuff, uh, than this. <laughs> So yeah, guys, that right there is the fastest way to get yourself a million gold and build a boat. And go from being a noob to being a billionaire.